Live from San Francisco, it's The Cube. Covering Informatica World 2017. Brought to you by Informatica. Hey, welcome back everyone. We're live here in San Francisco at the Moscone West with Informatica World 2017. This is CUBE's exclusive coverage. I'm Sean Furrier with theCUBE and Peter Burris with Wikibon.com General Manager of Wikibon Research. Our next guest is Tracy Ring, Specialist Leader at uh, Deloitte Consulting. Um, in the trenches, putting it all together. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks for uh, joining us today, appreciate it. Thank you for having me, I'm excited to be here. So you're a specialist, but in the system, global system integrated world, that means you basically globally look at the solutions. And, and what's interesting and why I'm excited to have a conversation with you is that you know, point solutions can come and go, but now we're in this composable world of cloud, data, et cetera, where a holistic view has to be looked at. So what, I want to get your thoughts on Informatica and what you guys are doing because We've heard it's the heartbeat, but yet there's also a hygiene issue. So you got this heart <laughs> surgeon and the hygienist and you have all kinds of specialty roles of, in data. It's Absolutely. pretty broad, yeah. but yet super critical. How do you look at the holistic big picture? Absolutely, I mean, we're seeing the view of ecosystems being so much more important. We have so many technology disruptors. I mean, three years ago, we weren't even hearing about Kafka and, and Hadoop was really new and, and so, I think demystifying, simplifying, helping customers understand the art of the possible, what can be done, what are leading practice organizations doing, and then really making it real. How do you sew this complex story together? How do you best leverage and get your investment out of technologies like Informatica and their complementary tools? It's interesting, IBM has Watson, Informatica has Claire, SAP has Leonardo, SAP has Einstein. We it would be great to get them all together and have <laughs> dinner, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, but this speaks, and, well you got Alexa at Amazon and Google. I mean, this is an interface issue. We're talking about uh, a cognitive, a real-time, new uh, user interface and machine interface into data that is completely out of the possible. This is what's happening in the world. It's changing developers, it's changing practitioners, architects, Everyone's impacted, your reaction to all this. You know, I think it's probably the most exciting time that we've seen in so long, and, and I think you so well articulated all of the players that are there. I think when you add in IOT and device management, you know, it's really an exciting time, and I think it's really driving some amazing things with regard to how organizations are literally transforming themselves, and, and both our clients as well as the ecosystem of technologies, companies are, are literally Really shifting their entire business model. It's, it's very exciting. So one of the things that the typified system integrator types behavior, like, to, like Deloitte, or big consulting firm, was big application, mm -hmm. let's deploy the big application uh, for accounting, for finance, for HR, whatever else it was, mm -hmm. culminating in ERP, which was the grand yeah. paw of everything, right? Now we're talking about analytics, where we have to focus on the outcomes, not just a big package for a function, but really a complex, ideally strategic, differentiating outcome. Yeah. Typically using a whole bunch of smaller tools that have to be bought together. Absolutely. Similar to what John was talking about. As a specialist who looks at these tools, take us through kind of the new thought process. Sure. Outcome, to capability, to tool, in the entire journey to get there. Absolutely, uh, I think one of the things that Deloitte does that is really, really unique is having conversations that start with are the possible. What could be done, what are leading practice organizations doing, what help me set a strategy. Is. Yeah, and and I think the, the real answer is there's less about sort of benchmarking what everyone else is doing and more about or really. Or speeds and feeds. You got it, you got <laughs> it. It's, it's really about revolutionizing, you know, and, and going into a, a new angle of, of what is truly, truly possible. And I think a lot of the things that were sort of um, table stakes and, and the way that we would look at success totally turned on its head, and, and we're looking at uh, organizations monetizing their data and uh, you know creating new business ventures because of the insights that they're deriving. And a lot of times we'll use, uh, Deloitte has an insight studio and a greenhouse and a couple of really highly collaborative spaces that we take clients to. Uh, we'll you know, plan one, two, three day workshops depending on how difficult a problem they're trying to solve and help them chart a roadmap and take that roadmap which is in many cases business oriented, business results driven, and help them sew in and layer in the technologies that are going to make that reality possible. 
What's the opportunities for cognitive? I mean, you guys talk a lot at Deloitte about a variety of different things, but specifically, there's some key opportunities around the, I call the cognitive, or you guys call the cognitive. IBM also uses that word, cognition. But really, AI and artificial augmented intelligence are signs of a new kind of opportunity landscape. What do you see for customer opportunities out there? Absolutely, we talk a lot about what we consider the insight-driven advantage, and that's really about using all of the tools in the toolkit to make that insight driven, uh, data driven, better decisions around what organizations can do. And cognitive is a huge component of that. You know, it's, we've been hearing stories for, for years about companies sort of predicting the next best offer. And you know, we're seeing this move so much further. We're moving into robotics, process automation. You know, the, the space is getting, I think, even more complex. But I think what's interesting is when we talk to organizations about, you know, they're not hiring tons of people to go out and, and do data integration through wonderful organizations like Informatica, that's really been solved. So companies are able to both take their technical resources and shift them into solving more difficult problems, hairier technology uh, opportunities, yeah. and, and use that to help shape their business. I mean, that's like a composability. So Informatica world's got a set of solutions and technologies, some SASified, some on-prem, but here it is. But you're at Deloitte, you, that's just one element to your mix of, of you things to compose for clients. You mentioned in those three areas of opportunities. Digital transformation is kind of the categorical wave we're on, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it's business transformation. You mentioned changing the business model. How do customers take advantage of those business opportunities in whether it's robotics or industrial IoT or insights and analytics? What, are, what is the customer impact and how do they get those business benefits? Yeah, I mean, I think again, like I said, a lot of times it starts with, you know, what is their goal? What do they want to be known for in the marketplace and that value branding of, of what is it that they see themselves differentiating amongst their competitors and using a, a pretty solid process and um, rigorous approach to that strategy to, to yeah. set you know, what are the pillars to achieve that um, is, is I think a big piece of it. I think the other component is we see a lot of organizations sort of challenging themselves yeah. to do more. And, and we'll have organizations say, I, I believe that I can do more, what what could I do? And, and I think that's interesting. Just, that to follow, just to follow up on that, because um, Peter and I were talking earlier before we came on about, you know, what gets customers excited and when the iPad came out, <laughs> that was the first kind of visual of, I got to have my analytics on a, on a dashboard. Sure. So that started what I call the dashboard wave. Um, now with bots and AI, you're seeing another reaction. Yeah. I got to have that uh, automated. How, do you see it the same way and how does that translate to the customer when they see these, this eye candy and the visualization stuff, how does that impact uh, your world and the impact of the customer, your customer? Absolutely, I mean, we, we used to live in a world where if I needed to have my data extracted, I would, you know, submit a request and, and it was this very long, lengthy process. And, you know, when you think about the robotics angle and, and process automation, you know, automated data pools are are there, and I think the interesting part is is that it's not about just cost out of IT. It's not about you know getting off of on-premise hardware. It's about driving better customer satisfaction, driving better business outcomes. You know the uh, implications. I think whether you're in life sciences or you're in uh, retail, you can touch your customer in a way that is, uh, you know what I would say is sort of delighting them versus just giving them what they asked for. So I want to I want to test a theory on you and see how this uh -oh. comports, <laughs> yes. And you get live test. Right out. <laughs> and see how this see how this lines up with your thinking and sure. where you see your customers going. So we have this notion at Wikibon in our research of what we call systems of agency. And by that we mean effectively that historically we did, we created systems that recorded action, mm. big TP, ERP. Sure. More recently, as you said, we're now creating systems that suggest action predictive analytics, those yeah. types of things. And now we're moving in a world where we're actually going to have systems that take action. Yeah. Where authority mm -hmm. and data have to move together so that the system is acting as an agent on behalf of the brand. Now, Informatica's done some really interesting things here with some of their new tooling, some of their metadata tooling to ensure that that type of meeting can move with the data. So as you think about where Deloitte and customers are going, are they starting to move into this new realm where we're building systems that take action on behalf of the brand, and what does that mean for the types of tooling that we're going to have to 
find for customers so they can make it real. No, I, I mean, this morning we were delighted to hear the latest announcement around how metadata is uh, really such a core component. And, and I think of it as, Metadata is, in many cases, where most organizations do see the monetization of their data payoff, right? Where, where not only do I have highest golden record, like we talked about 10 years ago, right. I have data lineage, I have data traceability, I have the whole entire story, so it's really much more cost justified. Uh, you know, hearing the announcement today of Claire and you know how we now have the AI of our clairvoyance is really exciting, and you know, I, I don't know that we're completely completely there, and I think we'll continue to innovate as Informatica always does, but we, we certainly are a whole lot closer, and, and I would say, you know, your concept is, you know, certainly where we're all going to the puck for. Good. My final question I'd love to get your thoughts on, because you have a global perspective, you work with the ecosystem partners, you've heard all the stories, you've heard all the raps and all the Kool-Aid injections from the different suppliers, but there's two things going on that, that, that's interesting. One is, we're kind of going back to the end-to-end -end solution. Absolutely. Um, you're seeing 5G with Intel, smart cities, IOT, mm -hmm. so everyone wants to get back to that end-to-end -end accountability with data and packets moving, all that good stuff with applications over the top but yet there's not one single vendor owning it all. So it's kind of a multi-vendor world, yet it's got to be end-to-end -end and bulletproof, secure. Uh, I mean, that's your world. I mean, it's not easy. Thrilled. <laughs> it's not, I mean, so you got to be busy. Your reaction to that and what's it, what's it mean to the, to the industry and how should customers have to look at that and say, okay, I want to get some stability. I want great SLAs, but I want flexibility for composability. I want to empower my app developers to drive top line revenue. This is the holy grail. We're in kind of in the wheelhouse right now. Yeah, I, 100%. I, I think it's a very exciting time and uh, the like I said, the fabric of what organizations need to sew together to really achieve their analytic insights and uh, you know, leveraging their data. I think data is just becoming more and more important and it's a phenomenal place to, to be in, both for um, where I sit on the, on the consulting side, helping all of our customers yeah. and certainly where globally we're seeing our clients going. And your, and your message to the clients is what, like, we got your back on this? I mean, that's Deloitte, that's what you guys do. You, you sew it together. Well, it's got to be more than you that, know, right? I mean, it's got to uh, well, have ideas for what outcomes we, you could seek, right? I think it's a lot. I think it's, the, it's not just about bolting in a technology or 10 technologies. Yeah. Yeah. It's about solving the most yeah. difficult yeah technology yeah. problems with tech, you know, with data helping. So. And you got to be savvy too, as they say in the swim lanes of the different firms, Absolutely. you got to bring your expertise to the table with some of your own tech. Absolutely, and yeah, and, and I think for us, we never sort of are remiss that there is a huge business, and if you, if, if you don't take the business aspect of it, what business problem are we solving? What value are we generating? How are we ultimately impacting our customers' customers? You know, then you know you're sort of missing the what we consider the most important piece of the pie. Tracy Ring with Deloitte, great to have you on. Thanks for your insight, very uh, insightful. That all the data is right there. We're going to make sense of it here in the cube. Thanks for sharing, um, Deloitte. Really putting it all together, composing the future, cloud, data, mobile. It's all here. Social. This is the cube bringing all the live action from San Francisco. I'm John Furrier with Peter Burris. More after this short break. <laughs>